so in all these cases i am dealing with i am dealing with the with an ideal gas and 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 they they hold for that so there will be some deviations that will that we'll see later but but currently we are dealing with an ideal gas fine so 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 my boyle's law actually boils down to this <laughs> okay so p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 later you'll see as the as the particles start coming together the molecular interactions go up and this will not be followed okay so this this will break down at some point of time but till then fine Th this will be applicable okay okay <coughs> so so i can develop so many things so where p1 and and v1 is pressure and volume and volume at some point and or 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 i'll say initial okay initial initially and p2 v2 is pressure and volume finally final pressure and volume finally okay now it's an interesting exercise to plot p versus v okay p versus v so so i'll erase this and and we'll plot it here now if if i try to keep my pressure on the on the y axis and volume here okay pressure here in bar and volume here in decimeter cube what is 1 decimeter cube equal to 1 decimeter cube is 1 liter it is actually actually 1000 cm cube which is 1 liter right now let us try to understand so my p into v is equal to a constant k1 now p i have taken on the y axis so i write it as y and this as x so this is equal to k <coughs> this x into y is equal to k this is actually a rectangular hyperbola rectangular hyperbola you will understand what a hyperbola is hyperbola is the locus of all the points the difference of whose lengths from two fixed points is a constant okay the difference is a constant in an ellipse the sum is a constant okay here it is the difference which is a constant and it is such that that the the x and the y axis become its asymptotes try to understand if i try to take this so so i am actually plotting what i am plotting y is equal to k1 upon x is it not so if i try to make this zero my p goes to this is my p right and and this is my my v so this is my v so my p tries to go to infinity now if i if i kind of make this infinity okay if i make this zero so my volume zero so this tries to tends it tends to go to infinity and if my my pressure goes to infinity uh, volume goes to infinity my volume goes to infinity pressure goes to zero so pressure goes somewhere here right so it starts becoming parallel to this is it not it starts becoming parallel uh, uh, you see 
when when something goes to infinity we do not make it touch it as we did in the case of graph for tan x we make it parallel to it right same here so it goes to infinity so so what happens the the graph will look something like this this is a this is the graph of a rectangular hyperbola and the moment you see pv is equal to a constant you immediately understand it is a rectangular hyperbola and nothing else uh, rectangular hyperbola is the where the area is always equal at any point from the origin i i didn't get you what if you take a point of the rectangular hyperbola and we create a rectangle out of it hmm. the area will be equal yeah 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 because because try to understand <coughs> If this is a point x y, then what happens? If this is a point x y, then 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 x y, then this whole thing is x and this is y, and this is a constant. So you take it like that, or or you take it like that. All these areas are a are are a constant. They are the same. Okay. now if this is at some point at some temperature t1 say now suddenly i ask you that i increase the temperature in what direction is this liable to shift suddenly suddenly i i say fine i i have done this experiment at a constant temperature you said now i want to increase the temperature and still keep it constant you understand what i mean now instead of say 200 300 kelvin i'll be i'll, I'll be doing this experiment at 500 kelvin let us say so what should happen what will become a straight line that means this will break down at a higher temperature this will not this will not be valid no why why how mm -hmm. if if we if we increase the temperature so so let us say i am i am stationed at this point and i am i am doing this uh, so so my volume is this and this is my pressure okay fine now i say now i say i am not going to change either okay i say i just i'll not let my volume change so if i do not let my volume change what do i do what do i do i freeze the piston start thinking it this way it will become pretty simple for you to understand so what I, what do i do i lock the piston here okay so it is locked here only okay so it is locked no movement fine now what i do i start heating it i start heating it so what happens what do you expect to happen i am not letting it it move out so what is going to happen to the pressure so that means at this volume if i increase the temperature i should land somewhere here correct and if i was here when this earlier experiment was conducted at every point i i was always kind of okay prone to increase the temperature so so it will it will give a higher pressure at the same volume okay so so maybe some other other at other temperature the whole thing will look like this and some other temperature it should look something like this is it not so t3 is greater than t2 is greater than t1 this is how it will go
okay. Now, I ask you to draw the pressure versus 1 upon V curve. Pressure versus 1 upon V curve. So, so do I do I raise this? So, this is this is pressure versus volume, this is P V diagram of a gas at different temperatures. Now, I am trying to draw a P versus 1 upon V graph. 1 upon V. So, P versus 1 upon V graph of a gas at different temperatures. So, I have the y axis as representing my p and the x axis representing my 1 upon v. And whenever someone asks you to draw these things, you should not get rattled. Say it is 1 upon v, so my 1 upon v becomes my x and p becomes my y. So, it actually translates into what? y is equal to k 1 x. Does it not look like y is equal to m x? That is a straight line, is it not? That is a straight line that passes through the origin. Okay? So, maybe it is something like this. Why don't we take p as x? Because, because you know, um, how do you change this P? Without change in temperature, what is your independent variable? <clears throat> hmm? Normally, you squeeze or squeeze it, right? So, so you are hammering it down by putting some weight or something. So, that is what is in your control. You, you, you can, you see, you can. How, how? Knob. If you attach a knob that changes the pressure, it means you are inputting more gas into it. Yes. You are changing the mass. You cannot do that. Mass At, uh, these two things are constant when we are talking about this, right? Now, here too, if I increase my temperature, what do you think should happen? It will be a straight line. If I increase the temperature, suppose this is T1, suppose this is T1 and I increase the temperature, what will happen? So, so at T2, where will it go? Up or down? It will go up, it will go down, go up, it will go down. Tell what? It will go up, but it will still be passing through this. Hmm. Let us try to understand it from here first. So, when you said P V is equal to K 1 and you increased the, you increased the temperature, what increased actually? You increase the temperature, it means this K1 increased. Now, if this K1 increased, if this K1 increases, that means the slope increases. No? Correct. The product of these two things, they increase, no? The V remains the same. Now, P becomes this. 
so obviously this v into p increases if you increase the temperature uh, if you increase the temperature so if you increase the temperature here to the k so so k1 goes up no so increasing the temperature increases k1 somehow okay increasing the temperature increases k1 and increase in k1 means increase in the slope of the line hmm? now that's why you see i emphasize why you should be pretty strong in maths because these things are usable here okay and maybe while citing where it is used you will not even understand where it is used the rectangular hyperbola and a straight line and a what not and your 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 understanding immediately becomes quite quite simpler if you have some background of maths fine so increasing the temperature increases k1 and increasing k1 means and here also just try to think if v is a constant 1 upon v is also a constant mm -hmm. think it that way also and i know if it is a straight line and at that very point i increase the temperature then at that very 1 upon v value i'll have an increased pressure so obviously it will it will go something like that so this way or that i know it is bound to go up so here t3 is greater than t2 is greater than t1 we understand that so increasing the temperature increases k1 and hence it increases the okay and hence it increases hence it increases the slope of the line in p versus 1 upon v graph understand Here, actually, you cannot say what the slope is, right? Because it's not a straight line. So, the slope is variable. In this, the slope is pretty variable. So, you'll have to talk about what point are you talking. Okay? And, and there too, at that very point. So, so, so it's not uh, kind of convenient to talk about slopes here. But it is quite convenient to talk about slopes here. And that remains the same at every point of it, right? Now, each of them, they are called an isotherm. Iso is same, derm is temperature. So, so the curves which you draw at a constant temperature, they are, they are isotherms. In geography, you must have seen what we do. We connect the areas that are having the same temperature at a given point of time, and we connect it with a with a uh, with a circular kind of thing or whatever. No, you have not seen. So, maybe this area has the same temperature. Okay? And you will write the temperature here. You will write they are at 23 degrees centigrade. Okay? And then you say that this area, this whole, whole, this, this is at say 35 degrees centigrade. Okay? So what happens? Maybe maybe in the summer, the the if they are nomads, they they have a tendency to move from here to here. Okay. So in in that context, you were you were told this. Hmm? No. So so the the curve so so this is also an isotherm and this is also isotherm this is an isotherm of pv graph of a gas so you have to tell the con context you know here the isotherm means something else all the places which have the same temperature so so don't start thinking that isotherm is reserved for boyle's law and it will be used in pv diagram or p, p versus 1 upon v diagram no 